Trigger warning, as you've seen in the title, I'm going to be talking briefly about the phrase kill yourself and other comments of similar connotation. So just a heads up. So I know I normally make videos that are kind of goofy and a little funny, but today is kind of a serious topic and it's something that I want to talk to you guys about. I've got a couple of things I want to knock out. So let's start. Number one. Hey, how you doing? Haven't talked to you in a while. It's been a minute. Number two. Anyone who's been around on the internet for any amount of time knows that it's a meme to tell a furry to kill themselves, or to hang themselves, or to yiff in hell, or whatever completely unoriginal bullshit comment that makes them feel better at night. Listen, if you're having a hard time sleeping, you might want to try to go to bed a little earlier, get some water before bed, don't take melatonin, melatonin really screws up your- But the point is, listen, I've been around the block, I've been a furry for longer than some of you guys have even been alive. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is because, hey, maybe there's somebody else in my community, somebody else out there that's going through some of the same stuff. And I want to tell you, listen, you're stronger, you're better than whatever troll on the internet has to tell you. My favorite thing to do is don't even respond. Which is why I'm making a response video about the whole thing right now. Listen, okay, do as I say, not as I do. I'm not always the brightest individual. Those who know me personally will tell you that. And for those of you wondering, like, hey, wow, how come he's making a furry video this time? His content's not furry based. You're right. My fur- My content is not typically based around the furry fandom because that's just not what motivates me. That's not what motivates me to make content. What I am and what I like to make are two different things. Those of you that have been around the- They can't talk today! Those of you that have been around the channel may have even seen some videos from, like Anthrocon, from my con adventures. I've talked about what the furry fandom has meant to me in the past. Things like that. And first and foremost, I'm, I'm a person. I'm Tyler, right? I'm Nerdy Husky. I know a lot of you guys are not furries, and that's fine. What it comes down to at the end of the day is I want my community to be filled with people that bounce off each other, or that, that wasn't a good way to put that creatively bounce off of each other, or share common interests, or whatever. Just be nice to people. That's what I want to see in my community anywhere on the internet. So for those of you surprised that I'm making a, a video about furries and stuff, don't worry, it's not becoming the new norm. And speaking of my community, I welcome most people into my community. I want you guys to welcome most people into the community. Tyler, what do you mean most people? Why do you keep saying it like that? Like I said, I want to invite most people into the community and there's the, the, the usual suspects I don't want to see anywhere near this community, right? The rapists, the racist, the trans intolerant and the homo intolerant people need to leave. All right, you might notice I have a fifth category down here that I have not filled in yet. Well, if you've read the title of the video, don't worry, we're getting there. By the way, do you notice how I'm using the word intolerant instead of phobic? My cousin Mitch is lactose intolerant, okay? Those of you who know Maverick Bead Studios, lactose intolerant. He's not scared of milk, so it's not going to be lactose phobic or something like that. He's intolerant, as in he doesn't like it. Well, he, he likes it, but his body doesn't. His, his body doesn't like lactose intolerant, all right? These people aren't scared of trans people. These people aren't scared of gay people or any of the other alphabet mafia, which is a term I heard on TikTok and I love it. These people aren't scared, they're intolerant. So, trans intolerance, homo intolerance, uh, alphabet mafia intolerance, whatever, not welcome here. Get them out of here, goodbye. About this last one, this, this one right here, if I've edited and pantomimed on the camera well enough, it's going to appear right there. The second part of the title says the zoo problem. Some of you might be wondering, there's a problem with the zoo? Did the monkeys get out? What happened to the elephants? Nobody better touch those drafts. That's not what I'm talking about. I mean, there might be a, a zoo problem where animals aren't allowed to roam free or whatever. The zoo problem that I'm talking about and kind of what made me want to start this video is I have just found out that there is a subclass of furry who are zoophiles. Now, what's a zoophile? It's a person that has sex with animals. Some of you out there that are furry intolerant <laughs> may already have this predisposure that, hey, to be a furry means you must fuck the animal. No. In fact, the majority of the fandom is so vapidly against that. As soon as somebody's found out to be a zoophile, it's like, you ever do that? You ever see that trick where they put pepper in the milk and then they put uh, soap on the finger and they poke the, the milk and the pepper's just like... The peppers, the furries, and the soap on the finger is the zoophile. Is this a good analogy? Do you understand what I'm saying? Listen, the point is... 
Ugh, it's fucking gross. It's disgusting. I hate everything about it. I hate that there's people out there pushing for this. They even have their own little symbol. It looks like this. Ugh. I'm honest. I'm so disgusted by this. But anyway, what was I even saying? Racist, rapist, fucking pedophiles. How did I forget the pedophiles? Get them out of here. No pedophiles in my community. Rapist, rapist, pedophiles, homo intolerant, trans intolerant, and zoophiles. If at any point anyone says anything, I watched Nerdy Husky, and also I'm a zoophile. Get them out of here! Not welcome. Goodbye. Have a nice day. I'm not willing to discuss this. This is not something that I'm willing to debate here. I want it to be perfectly clear on a channel that has some furry influence here, I. Tyler, Nerdy Husky, do not support zoophiles. I will never support zoophiles. If anyone says that they are a part of my community and that I endorse it, they're fucking lying, and they are not welcome here. No racist, no rapist, no pedophiles, no homo or trans intolerant people, and definitely no zoophiles. I felt it was important to make this video as soon as I heard that this was starting to become a problem that people are starting to self-identify as zoophiles. And I, it needs to be out there. That's it. That's the thought. <sighs> Normally I end these videos with a bit of self-promotion on what I'm doing. All you need to know is I'm going to be working on more YouTube videos. But honestly, I want you guys to stay awesome. I want you guys to stay safe. And I want you guys to just... Whatever you are doing, whatever drives you, whatever motivates you, kick that shit in the ass and tell me about it. All right? I want to know. I want some positivity to come out of... I have to, I've had to sneeze for like the last 15 seconds, and we're not doing a damn thing until this comes out. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. How did I hurt my knee? How did I hurt my neck? I guess the whiplash. I'm, I'm being completely serious here. Be safe. Get an idea of who you're dealing with before you get too deep into a friendship with someone. And just stay incredible. I will see you guys in the next video whenever I upload it. High five!